Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about S3 pricing, so let's start. So S3 is pay for what you use. Uh, there is no subscription based model. So if you're not storing any data, you don't pay anything. If you store less data, you pay less. Um, there is 0% fees, so there's no fees. You can just go and create an S3 bucket. Until you load a data or you do any put or get requests, you're not going to be charged any money. Uh, price is based on the location. So depending on where you create your S3 bucket and you place your put and get requests, you will be billed. Uh, it has storage pricing. So uh, that's what we were talking about. Uh, depending on how much data you store or uh, is what you're going to get billed. Uh, requests and transfer pricing. So the put requests and get requests that you do on your S3 bucket. And S3, S3 or AWS does charge you for data out. So if you're transferring data outside of AWS, you will be charged money. So that's pretty much it essentially for S3 uh, pricing that you need to be aware of. But let's just go to uh, this website that I've got here quickly. And this is the price calculator. And I'll also leave a link to this in the video notes so you can download this. So you can see here, it depends on the region. So you can select, so in if you're maybe another region, it's going to be a different cost. So I'll say, yeah, just change the region. And then you enter the amount of storage. So let's say if it is 1000 gig and how many requests. So that's what I was talking about, the requests that you get. So I'll just keep putting 1000 everywhere just to make my life easy. But, uh, and you can see that it's given us the estimate of the cost. And if you scroll down, um, you can see how it's calculating this. So you can see that uh, for 1000 gig space, where you've got uh, these many uh, requests, and eventually it just says it's going to cost you $27 uh, USD. So if, if you change the region, the price might change as well. So in this video, we've essentially explored the factors that um, uh, impact S3 pricing. Well, you can also have a look at these depending on what storage type you're using, you will be charged. Um, the location, the put and the guest request, the storage that you're using, data transfer, inbound, outbound, so these are the factors that impact uh, S3 pricing. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.